The French president was accused of jeopardizing France's international relations by focusing the country's foreign policy entirely on EU integration. In an opinion piece titled The AUK-US Pact, a consequence of French inconsistency, French Daily La Tribune argued Macron's obsession with Brussels is being interpreted internationally as a will to move away from the country's Indo-Pacific alliances. They wrote, all of France's foreign policy is in fact oriented towards European integration, which is interpreted in the opposite direction as a gradual withdrawal from the Indo-Pacific zone. Referring to the AUK-US defence deal between Australia, the UK and the US, for which France has lost out on a lucrative submarines deal, they added, if Australia has turned away from the strategic partnership signed with France, it is because of the unbearable lightness of Paris on the Caledonian file. Quoting the article on Twitter, Generation Frexit leader Charles Henry Galois said France will soon disappear in the eyes of international, non-EU, allies unless Macron's fixation with the Brussels bloc is stopped. He wrote, the fanatical obsession with the EU makes France disappear in the world. Frexit. Dan Tian, Australia's Trade, Tourism and Investment Minister for Australia told Sky News Australia on Friday how the French government cancelled multiple crunch meetings he was due to have with his counterparts during a recent trip to Europe. Mr. Tien lambasted the French fallout from the AUKUS deal which saw President Macron's watch a €31 billion Euros submarine building contract get torn up as Australia formed a security partnership with the UK and the USA. Mr. Tian explained, obviously I wanted to meet with the French trade minister and I was going to meet with the top business group. Both those meetings couldn't take place. And in an embarrassing revelation to President Macron, Mr. Tian said he was only able to exchange pleasantries with the French trade minister at the G20 meeting in Italy, admitting that was the only interaction between the two embittered nations of late. Despite this, Mr. Tian claimed the pair told one another that they look forward to catching up when circumstances allow as the soaring tension continues over the AUKUS deal. He went on to acknowledge how it is a difficult time in our relationship with France at the moment, and said it will take time to resolve. Discussing the AUKUS deal, the trade minister noted that while signing the pact was a tough decision, he stressed there was no alternative when it came to Australia's national interest and protecting its people. Mr. Tian continued, saying, obviously there wasn't the circumstances that enabled me to sit down with my French counterpart but I hope in time I will be able to do that. The minister was then pushed by Sky's Rita Panneri as she asked how much longer President Macron's tantrum will continue and when relations could return to pre-AUKUS levels. He replied, I think it might take some time, there is obviously great disappointment on their side. But the most important thing from an Australian point of view is that we just keep explaining the reasons why we did this. We have got a very changed geostrategic circumstance in the Indo-Pacific, we took a decision which was very much in our national interest.
Mr. Tian was clear that the AUKUS decision has given Australia access to very sophisticated nuclear and AI technology that simply was not available through the French. The AUK-US deal saw Australia tear up a massive €31 billion Euros diesel-powered submarine building contract with the French to pursue the means to produce nuclear submarines with the help of US technology.